joining us to talk about the Purina Service Dog Salute Program. I'd like to welcome returning guest, Wilmer Valderrama to Sidewalks Entertainment. Hi, Wilmer, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, thank you for having me, so fun. So you've actually been on our show quite a few times and this is actually my very first time speaking with you. So again, thank you so much for coming oh, back. Cool. So you've been in so many great shows, TV shows and films. Uh, let's take a very short trip down memory lane, um, starting with the beginning of your career. How did you start your career as an actor and what do you remember most about your experience of getting your first major acting role? Yeah, you know, I, I remember uh, really believing that anything was possible. You know, when I first came to this country, I didn't know how to speak English at the age of 14. And by the age of 18, I was booking that show, that, that 70s show. And, um, you know, for those four years before that, I was obsessing over being on stage, obsessing over doing drama and obsessing over learning how to speak English. And I was so fearlessly focused that I had the audacity of thinking that, you know, I could achieve anything I wanted, you know, and and once I booked that 70s show, I felt like, okay, well, you know, what else can I do? You know, and that's that was the beginning of it. And uh, it was a moment uh, and a very humbling one for my whole family because we really needed that break. Um, and it changed everything. It changed the course of my family, the course of my career and my, and you know, and myself as a man, you know, so um, I've been very proud of all that. Yeah. So as you mentioned, you booked that 70s show. All of us remember your lovable character, Fez. How would you describe your what your experience was working on that show? I mean, we didn't we didn't call it work. Um, we we definitely were. We, I, didn't feel like I was going to work. I felt like I was hanging out with my friends and we were just being idiots on TV. And then somehow people liked it. You know, we felt like we were really <laughs> trying to come up with some random stuff and and really making um, so many crazy choices. At, at that time, comedy didn't sound or look like what we what we did or what we, what we were. So, you know, so I think it was, it was a, a time for pioneering, a time for innovation, but I, I just feel like it was a, a very fearless time for us as actors to just try all these different ways of, of just making people laugh, you know, and tonally, I think we did something very unique. So the Purina Dog Chow Service Dog Salute Program, uh, you are actually part of the campaign. Tell me a little bit about this campaign and why is it important to you? Well, so I've been working with the military for a very long time. I'm going on almost two decades of traveling the world and visiting and meeting all of the men and women um, of uniform. And it's been the greatest joy of my life. So, you know, I look for these organizations and brands that, you know, that are in the game doing this. And, and you know, um, Dog Child has been supporting the military since its founding almost a almost hundred years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. So as part of their fifth annual uh, service dog salute program, Dog Chow launched the first ever Visible Impact uh, Award. Uh, the award celebrates the remarkable impact of post-traumatic stress service dogs uh, have on veterans' daily lives. And, uh, you know, we, we have five finalists. They were selected based on their best, you know, demonstrated the life-changing impact and skill set for well-trained PTS service dogs. Um, and the campaign is awesome and super simple and really fun. But ultimately, from now to October 17, um, you know, the country can join selecting the Dog Show Visible uh, Impact Award winner by voting for their favorite service dog and, and veteran pair. Um, so I invite everyone to go to dogchow.com slash service. And for every vote, uh, Dog Show is going to donate $5 um, to the Association of Service Dog Providers for the Military uh, Veterans. Um, I, I've been in the room for what these dogs are capable of doing and what how life-saving this training can be for these dogs um, and the support they give our veterans. So um, I love to continue to fund the training of more service dogs because they've proven to really, really bring um, a, a level of peace and balance to our veterans that I think it's needed. Yeah, so as you mentioned, the Visible Impact Award is a uh... A, an award that goes to one service dog who's shown exceptional service to a veteran in need. Now, what I what I love about the website is when you go to the website to go vote, you can actually yeah. each candidate for this award has a backstory and you can read all about them. That's that's really that's really cool. Yeah, no, it's really really beautiful. Absolutely, I mean you can, you're gonna get to know these service dogs and you're gonna be able to root for them. 
you know, and also, uh, you know, really understand our some of our veteran stories um, and hopefully relate to them. So what are a few things that the dogs in the Service Dog Salute program are trained to do? So they, they're trained to identify uh, moments of distress, and they're also able to support, um, you know, with daily tasking, you know, some dogs uh, obviously help you cross the street. Some dogs are helping you, you know, help you open the door, you know, but, but one of the, one of the skills that I feel is the most unique is they're able to train a dog to identify the chemical that we release when we have anxiety and the dog identifies that as a command and it immediately turns into support mode. Right. It starts jumping on top of it, starts hugging you, starts licking you and it starts telling you, Hey, we're here. You know, I'm here for you. You're not alone. And, um, and, and I, I've been in the room for that <clears throat> and it's incredibly touching and it's really, you know, heartwarming to see that this dog knows when, you know, his, you know, his veteran is feeling, uh, not balanced and is able to be there and identify it and, and be able to center, uh, the veteran back into, um, into peace. And I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just life-saving and uh, I love these stories because you never thought a dog could be so comprehensive, you know, until you meet these mm. dogs. Well, sadly, we are out of time, but Wilmer, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.